we know there are two parts. One is, are you showing up on organic? And second is, are you answering these three questions in 90 seconds or less? Most websites don't do it. You know, we do a marketing strategy meeting when we review sites. And one of the things we notice is the 80 to 90% of the websites suck when it comes to showing up on Google, which means they have this beautiful website they love and their team loves, but nobody's going to, nobody's finding. Second, in fact, so many offices have spent so much money on the design of their website that they blew the budget and don't have any remarketing budget left over for mastering search. Exactly. So they have a beautiful website that nobody goes to, which means like you're going to get getting zero people who even know you exist. And second, um, let's say I go to that specific page. Remember, people are not going to your homepage. They're going to that specific page for that specific need, whatever that need is, whatever that, you know, service you provide is, whether it could be crowns, Invisalign, you know, sedation, whatever it is. And then they don't answer those three questions. They don't have before and after pictures on that page. They don't have testimonials on that page. They don't have reviews on that page. They are not doing a good job in influencing that per person to choose you, the dentist. So you will have this website that is like a dead man walking. Imagine like, you know, absolutely no benefit to anybody. It's just, you know, it's like uh, no, no impact, no results. So you may have spent 5,000 or 10,000 or whatever amount of money, but it's a useless website from the point of view of how the dental buyers in 2023 are using your website. So once you understand that, then I think, let me kind of take it a step further. Why do people do this? I think a lot of doctors love medicine. They love dentistry. So they don't understand the map. So I alluded to like the wrong map. You can, you know, drive three times fast and spend three hours, but you won't find get to where you need to because you're not looking at the map. So where do these maps come from? I think it's because they copy others like we all do. So they, they respect a doctor who's famous and, you know, popular and so forth. They go and say, oh, I love his website because they are biased, obviously. And, and like Gary alluded to, they think that patients are going to spend a ton of time on dental websites, just like they would, because dentists love dentistry. So they would spend a lot of time. They assume patients spend a lot of time. That's not the case. So for those two reasons, because they're copying the wrong people and also because of that inbuilt bias, they're building websites that's great if every patient of yours is a dentist, but it's not great when every patient of yours is not a dentist, right? Like the real world is. Um, so, so don't copy other websites. Um, start asking the question, is my website ranking on Google? If it's not ranking on Google for each page should be ranking. The, every now how, can they find, how can a listener find that out? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the ways they can do that is we will offer a marketing strategy meeting at no cost. And going back to the theme of this, um, you know, episode, which is the biggest mistakes uh, that dental owner, dental practice owners are making with websites, we will tell you, are you ranking? Step one. And if you're not ranking, why are you not ranking? And that, so that's we, analytic, uh, analytical that is, data. That is very analytical um, because Google looks at six types of things to decide if you should be ranking for hundreds keywords or not. So we'll tell you in each one of those six areas, are you getting an A, B, C? So you know very clearly where do you stand on the things you need to do to A, rank on Google. Also, we'll give you a plan. Okay, regardless of whether you're getting a C in one of those six areas, how do you get to an A? What needs to happen over the next 12 months for you to get an A in all of those areas? Then the second thing we look at is, okay, fine you know, assuming we get you to rank, are we now going to influence them? And we'll look at it through that lens. Are your pages, each page on your website created in a way it's a, it's doing a good job in helping people choose you. So it's a 90 minute meeting. We spent six hours worth of research. You'll meet Lila Stone, who's our director of marketing. It's a $900 value. It's complimentary. Uh, it's equa.com slash MSM. That's how you would book it. Um, so I, I suggest find out where you stand, uh, you know, both in terms of Google, as well as in terms of helping people choose you and then take that plan and implement it. You know, now that you have the correct map and now you know exactly what to do, just do it. And I believe that the best defense is the best offense. Now imagine instead of, you know, PPO, which is costing you 45 to 50% every time you see a patient, you have plan B, which is costing you a fraction of that. And that plan B gets stronger and stronger and stronger. You can start dropping PPO plans one by one, you know, because you have the confidence that you don't need these guys as much as you thought you did.